Afternoon, folks. I've been driving everybody to doctor's appointments today, so I'm a little weary, but it was good to come home to a package in the mail. This is from Sanchez. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Sanchez is, he's the guy who makes uh, woven pouches, really good ones to that, and he made, he wanted to trade with me. And I'll finish his trade as quick as I can get to it in amongst everything else I got going on. He understands that. But I've got this. He sent me the trade already because he wrote, he had it all set up. Oh, wow. Let me, let me not let the secret out till I quickly poke the peek at the letter. Okay, appreciate the letter, man. Now, first things first. We're going to look at the pouches, which you guys already know are on the way. Okay. I believe he gave me a total of... Here, let me hold them up. He got one with the camo motif and the black woven very well done really strong and then we've got three that are this black i believe if i'm not mistaken yeah two are for roughly three eighths ammo and i believe two are for half inch ammo what he said i asked him for two each because I wanted to give my brother a set of piece to try. And then, he made me a custom one. Now, you guys are probably wondering, what in the heck do you need something that big for? Hang on, let me pause it and go get it. Okay, I ran over there to grab something. He and I were talking a little bit about the fact that Brunhilde right here, Fraulein Brunhilde has a nice leather pouch, you know, soft leather, holds a pinball pretty decently, you know, and shoots pretty well, but I thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool if she was holding something a little more fancy? So guess what, folks? We got a pinball shooter, custom made, just for Brunhilde, okay? And we're going to have this loaded up. I'll let I'll put a close-up up because he wanted to see a close-up to make sure it fit right. We're going to band her up with what she's got on and we're going to put this bad boy on. And we're going to basically try and see if we can break Jorg's record. Um, I know how fast this thing shoots. I'm not going to tell anybody because... We're not going to shoot it officially until my brother's better, which will be sometime, hopefully, about April, May, he'll be able to shoot it right at about the time we hold the slingshot event so that we can have plenty of witnesses when we break the record, okay? Now, as to whether we can pull it or not, well, he's not going to have to go to the gym, I think. But anyway, man, looks like it fits perfectly. You're the expert. You tell me, Sanchez. If you think it fits perfectly and you think it's right, here, I'll show you both angles. Let me hold it up here so you can see how it fits in height-wise and fit, see how it fits in this way. And you can tell me if, it, if you think it's the right size, too small, too big. But anyway, to me, it looks just right. And I appreciate that. Now, he sent me a little surprise because I commented on how pretty it looked. Here you go, gentlemen. I think he called it the Recurve PFS. Yeah, Recurve PFS. Look at that. Look at that angle. Look at that sweep. And look at the, it. I'm not sure what finish it is. 
I was to hazard a guess, I would say it's some kind of either polyurethane or lacquer. It doesn't look like CA, but I might be wrong. But anyway, there you go, Sanchez, man. Now you guys can all see how it fits in my hand, okay? Nice and snug, tight. Beautiful work, bro. Outstanding work. This is completely unexpected, and I sincerely appreciate it. Now I gotta make sure that you get something top of the line from this end. And it's in the works, bro. And thanks to Old Miser's um, Bandsaw Edition, it's going a little faster than expected. But then again, I'm also meeting delays with family, family issues I have to address. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it.